you're reading Sipneys, my name is Cyper Hines, and welcome to episode 20 of Steven Universe Attack the Light. In the last episode, we took down the mean and green gauntlet. I mean, it's just the green gauntlet, but that's what I like to call it, okay? Don't judge me. So in this episode, we have to take down this gauntlet in the orange area, which I apparently called the orange and foreign gauntlet. Is it a stupid name? It's up to interpretation. <laughs> That's up for you to decide. Alright, it's probably gonna start with Steven going like, Oh no, our items! Uh oh, my backpack is empty. I knew it! Remember, we can't bring outside items into these areas. When we leave, we'll they'll return. Stick it together. These areas are more intense than usual. Hope this place is ready for our bad selves. Which is basically the exact same thing that they said before. This is interesting, because we're now apparently going instead of the, uh, flap. Instead of us going to the down or up, we're going to the right. So, freak these snakes. That's completely not what I wanted. I hate this hitbox. I hate it. If I would have hit the snakes, they would have been already gone. Honestly. That's big complaint right there. No. You've got to be kidding me. Would it be surprised if I told you I already hate this gun? <laughs> I hate it more than the rest. Oh, I have to get rid of this guy. He's in my freaking way. I can't hit this freaking spider that's at the top. That's so mean. What a freaking ridiculous way of doing it. Don't want to get poisoned, so you got to block all of that damage. I'm going to get rid of this pleb first and foremost. I thought I wouldn't have to mind about him. But you know what? Frick you. <laughs> Trying to block my wing trap like that. Get the pleb out of here. Eh. Eh. That's what you get. I still don't have anything to spend these gems on. Nope. Nope. The thing I worried about in this level was the uh, snakes and stuff. Because I know for a fact that if they attack you, what's gonna happen? That you're gonna get poisoned. Basically. But you know what? First battle, it's done. We also got a bicycle helmet. To protect us. Alright. First chest... Hopefully it's going to be something that's decent. Feel awesome tea. So I'm guessing that's for status effects and stuff like that. Two star fruit. I don't think I've ever heard Steven say uh, it's my lucky day before. And if I did, it's probably rare. Hmm. Interesting. I already know what I'm using one of the star fruit for. You don't even have to tell me. This is important. Look at them all go. There we go. Well, that felt was easier. Pearl got a level up too. Luck defense or attack. I'm gonna get you nice 10 defense. Sh should work. Open this up. And get cookie cat bites. Which I think is regeneration. And also two bicycle helmets. Which I think increase defense. Oh, two big boys. Now I just ha now these guys aren't bad. I just have to do I just have to deal with them slowly. And also, if I get the da extra damage off, all it really does is just help me. Now I'm not sure if Amethyst can really one-hit these shielded enemies, but you never know. Ow! Oh, they also give you defense down, so you gotta be careful about that. Okay, I'm gonna lower this pleb's defense just so he can do less attack. Because now they're gonna start aiming for Garnet. I know that for a fact. No, they aim for Amethyst. Oh, well, one of them did. Let me just use Pearl to poke him. Get him out. Oh, and an extra turn. Someone's driving by right now. So let me just heal you up. 
Is it a bus? I don't know, it might be a bus. I love the ending of the last episode, how literally Amethyst just ran with, like, the final big boss thing. I don't think it was a boss, but it was just a, like, critically huge enemy, I guess you could call it. And she just straight up slammed him out of the orbit of this, whatever the planet this is. And it's like one of my top 10 favorite moments of 2019 right there. And is Garnet going to do that a little? Yes, she is. Harmony, attack, and defense. Huh. You, I guess you can't be extra attack, if you know what I mean. How could you go wrong with it? Okay, so I guess the object of this is every time that you defeat an enemy, you get access to a chest. Fire salt, that's going to help with snakes, I'm guessing. This is going to be ambush. Called it. And this ambush is going to be snakes and chameleons. Okay, so let's just, at the very least, just dodge the snakes, because the chameleons are going to try and eat our items. <laughs> I was trying to focus there. My apologies. He takes our bicycle helmet and goes away. Going after Amethyst. So how I should do this is the chameleons can disappear all they want, but I need to take care of these snakes first. Because honestly, they're the biggest threat. Frick chameleons, I could just get the items back. Like, even not even just by getting them, like, by no means. I could just kill them. Little dastardly fiends. Also, those luckies. Little, little lucky hits. All they do is just help me. And I'm pretty sure I can use three attacks of Amethyst, three little whip attacks, and it's just gotta be a clean sweep. Oop. I mean, Amethyst has two hit points of damage taken, so I'm not sure if I should heal that just in case. Uh, no. Nah. She wants vengeance for those chameleons stealing our items. So let's get the vengeance. There we go. Oh, look at the explosion of items. Bicycle helmet, cooking gap bites, together breakfast, star fruit. And two bicycle helmets. And the level up charm. Is Steven at max level? He might be. Oh, free chest. Free loot. A bagel sandwich. What? There we go. Okay, so these fly bugs. Honestly, I think they're a bigger threat than this big turtle thing, because if they attack in swarms, good luck. So I'm going to take out at least some of these first. And I know I could have used Amethyst Whip, but I think it could be more effective for at least this guaranteed kill. Ooh. Well, I mean, that isn't guaranteed kill, but if I attack with Pearl, however, then this works. I didn't even know how to dodge that. Really? Good job there, Buckaroo. Your mission was to lower my defense. Did that work out for you? I bet it didn't. <laughs> Alright, end my turn. Block that. Now do this. He's out. <laughs> I love how far it knocks him. Oh my gosh, I wish I could slow motion that. I'm pretty sure I can in editing, but yeah. I'm gonna give you a boost in harmony. The next up, if I see it, I'll give you a boost in a... Ooh, Snake Boy. Ooh, that actually might be dangerous. So you know what, just in case, I'm gonna stun you. Nice three turn stun. Exactly what I wanted. Boop. I'm gonna get rid of the Fly Boy. Because he's a bad status effect boy. Girl. I'm not sure what... Does light have a gem? It's probably female with the other gems, but... Eh, who knows. Alright, this is fine. Because what I can do... I'm going to use this turn to heal up Amethyst. And also heal up Pearl. And once that chameleon pleb shows up again... Wait a second. No, 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 that's not going to work, because if I, I was going to say, maybe I'll just use Alexandrite. But then, I'm, but I'm pretty sure if I tried, then he would just disappear again. So I just got to focus on beating him up. 
There we go. That's the complete opposite of what I wanted. I hate how enemies just overlap with other enemies. At the very least, it's had. I I admit that's a big like nitpick I have to I have about this game. I'm trying to fight enemies, but when I fight something that ruins my plan, it's bad. I mean, look at that. That did all. And I already did a ton of damage. Now I gotta stall you out again. Of course, I know it's not the end of the world, especially if I get the stall back. I'm, I'm just saying. Like, you guys understand, right? Okay, take this turn and do that. I'm a increase in strength. There we go. I kind of find it interesting how Steven brings his ukulele everywhere. I just, I just I thought she was just gonna scream and then stop. By the way, the gem placements on Alexander White make sense. On each hand, that's Garnet. On the head, that's Pearl. And on the chest, or whatever that, wherever it's placed, I want to enclose that information. That's Amethyst. Oh, I just realized Steven's at max level. His ending level was, uh, hold on, I can check. 22. It's basically like he's an adult. Oh, whoa, snake people. Evil snake. Alright, so, let's focus on one at a time. I'm gonna focus on the bottom one because he has a bigger hitbox. There we go. Nice. That's solid. That's what I wanted. Okay, so take the time, end it. Dang, it does a lot of damage. Okay, seven. So I can heal Pearl. And then I can try to just do this. Out of here. Oh, no, it didn't one hit. Okay, that's actually pretty bad. Maybe it was easy to one hit him. Ow. I think it was easy to one hit him because his uh, defense was down. Um, it always, always doesn't hurt to try. Heal up Amethyst again just to be safe. Block these shots. You little pleb. You're trying to knock me off my game. Two turns you'll be stalled for. How much damage would this do? Hopefully a lot, because your defense is also down. And semi. No. Heal her. Alright, there we go. Oh, no. Heal, please. Thank you. I know. I don't want you to be gone. I care for you like how I care about waking up and eating food in the morning so that's a lot not even in the morning just in general if you're one of those people who I care about as much as I care about eating food in the morning you're special you're like one of the most special people that I meet that I'll ever know and I know it sounds weird but that's just facts I guess I can just do this. Does everyone heal it up? Alright, let's do it. We already know the shtick by now. With four gem beauty. With two mouths. One of normality and one of uh, probably canine intent. We did it. Everyone's close to max level, probably. Which is really interesting. Ooh, a chest. Super star fruit. Fresh. Alright. Big snake boy and two fly boys and two chameleons. So I'm gonna take out of I'm gonna take out these two fly boys. Because I don't want any status effect riddled on me. 
And I know the snake boys can poison me, but that's only if I don't block. And already enough damage is sucky already. Oh, oh okay. How dare you? Alright, so how should I approach this? Okay, I'm gonna try this. To stall him out. And this might be a lengthy battle, so... Because these chameleons just love to camouflage and steal my items. So let me just get rid of these plebs before the worst comes to happen. <laughs> okay, one down. Why, I wish these gauntlets had a shop. I know it would be pretty, like, weird to have a shop inside, but, like, look at all the gems that I have. I guess it kind of be pretty cheap and kind of exploited, but... I mean, they only serve a maximum of three things. Like, let's just be realistic here. Okay, if I hit him once more, I could use my next turn to become Sujalite. Freaking Alexandrite, you didn't hear that. And what I can do... Let me, let me pick those up for real quick. And I'm just gonna... Boom. You're gonna see a lot of dance. I I feel like I make these gems dance more than if they were at like a, I don't know, dance recital, ballerina contest, whatever the club. Did that? That didn't kill. Well, I mean, granted, he is the slimmest away from being ended. So what I can do is I can heal Pearl. Okay, that's good. She took. Well, I guess, I guess she does have a bit more defense. I'm not sure if... Does he? I should check on that, actually. Hold on, before you do. Uh, defense 10. No. Apparently, Garnet has the most defense. In fact, her defense is tied with Amethyst. She is... Now Pearl is like a centimeter away from getting a level up. Ooh, chest. Hey. Free loot. Ooh! Did we do it? We beat the gauntlet. Wait, 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 let's go back. Let's go back. Let's check out this KO badge. Is this okay KO? All attacks have a chance to KO any enemy except bosses. If I give this to Amethyst, she can just... Oh, she can destroy them more. If you even attempt to insult her, that's the worst idea you could do in your entire lifetime. Oh. Anyway, good episode. So we defeated the orange and foreign gauntlet. I don't have a name for the red or blue gauntlet yet. I'll come up with those in the next couple episodes, hopefully. So, if you did enjoy episode 20 of Steven Universe Attack the Light, then be sure to like the video because, you know, you like the video. And also share it with your friends if they enjoy Steven Universe content in general. And if you just enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? And also, hit the bell notification icon to receive all of my future notifications on this YouTube channel. But above all else, I will see you in the next video. Hail the Hype Knees!